Hi everyone, it's Kim from Eclectic Papery back with another Feed Your Creativity video. Today we're going to talk about Gesso Resist again, uh, but this time we are going to use the Gesso as an ink for a stamp. So we are starting with some of the same materials that we talked about in our last Gesso Resist video. We're going to have, you guessed it, Gesso. This is Claudine Helmuth, one of the minis. Um, we also have this available in the um, larger the larger jars. I have a piece of foam. I think this is a stamp foam from Ink Essentials. I have a stamp and I have a tag and my nonstick craft uh, worksheet. The stamp is from Unity. It's a Liz Hicks Studios design. It's collage of digits and that's what I'm going to be using today for the stamp. So to start we are going to put some gesso out on our nonstick craft sheet. Now, for a smaller stamp, you could come in here, pat the stamp around, and get the gesso all over your stamp. But you end up with a lot of gesso all over your craft sheet if you do that. And this is such a large image that I ended up using a small piece of foam. I use this stuff for everything. Blending with Distress Inks. Um, and it's perfect for this inks, anything paint you want to use it with. So I'm going to pick up some of the gesso with my sponge and I am just going to apply it like this and of course the more you pick up here, like get on the, gets on the sponge, you push down a little bit harder to get the gesso all over the stamp. This is a great stamp, fantastic background stamp. I'm going to show you some of the projects that I did using the same stamp as well. And then we stamp. And I am not uh, not worried about picking up more gesso. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to come back and reuse whatever I have that's left on my stamp. And you can come back if you want to until your stamp is completely covered. And what you'll get if you don't if you don't re-ink your stamp with the gesso, you'll have some parts that some parts of the image that shows up once this is dry that'll be uh, brighter and others that will be more subtle in the background. So we're going to let that dry and of course gesso is a paint so you'll want to clean off your stamp as soon as you can. I just use a baby wipe. I think you can probably tell by the look of my stamp that um, I've been using it for this technique quite a few times this week so it's a mess. But that's okay, that will clean up. Alright, so we have a, I have a tag that I've already stamped that's dry. And now we're going to put some color on the background. And we're again, we're going to use the Distress Stains. Uh, this time I'm using Spice Marmalade, Broken China, and Dusty Concord. And we want to get a lot of ink out. Remember how I told you last week, don't squeeze the bottle? You can squeeze the bottle today. We're going to get a big puddle of it out on our craft sheet of all of our colors. Keep these guys apart over here. And of course when we apply water to these it'll we can blend them as well so you want a big pool like that and then we are just going to swipe our tag all the way through these colors you see the way that picks that up love it and then you can come in with your water miss the daylights out of it and of course we can come back in and pick up more ink too you don't want to do too much at least with the colors that i have here it'll get too muddied Ooh, but I like that. See, I, I like it all running all over the place like that. Making a big mess. Good. That's goodness right there. Ooh! And so you can see that already. Hold on. Let me get this out of the way here. You can see how the gesso is resisting the ink. Even when I use my towel there, I'm kind of picking some up. And you can see that stamped image coming through. And guess what? I have one already done for you. I know. Are you surprised by that? Yes, we have one that has already been stamped, dried, stains on it. Look at this one. I like this. I like my second one more, actually. I like more of that um, spice marmalade showing up. So you can see very different look with both tags. And then we can do exactly the same thing that we did last week um, for applying stamped images over the top. If we want to. Of course, I'm using archival ink, and this is another uh, Unity stamp set. Again, I am using the She Sprouted Wings stamp set because I love it. 
but we can swipe our archival ink over here and get a little bit of text in the background, anything like that. And then we can come in with the main image. So I will show you the sample that we did at the Collins Group show that Tim Holtz um, demonstrated for us. Again, different colors, different inks, different stamped images, but same look. Um, you can see the gesso resist in the background. Love it. Love it. And let me show you two other projects. It's not just for tags. So I also created a, oh, I can't find it. Here it is. Two things. I made a little ATC. I'll show you that first. And this was using that She Sprouted Wing stamp set. This is a little subtle because it's an ATC, so it's small. But you can see the gesso in the background. I used the Be Brave stamp, and so a little bit of this text in the background uh, popped up my uh, main image there and added a sentiment. And I have a great little ATC that I can use as it is. I can put it on a tag or a card. It would even look cute, wouldn't it? Right on there on top. Oh, yeah. That's a good look. And then I also use the exact same stamp, the Collage of Digits from Unity. Oh! I made a giant journaling page, and I drew my very first face. This is kind of hard to even show this to people because this is like, you know, drawing. I can't really make a stick figure. So um, this was definitely a labor of love, very exciting. Um, if you haven't gotten into this kind of um, art form yet, art journaling, just do it. Don't even wait. It, it's just a blast. So much fun. So you can see the gesso here in the background. I stamped all over the background page. Did my entire background first. Same thing. Use stains. Came back in just with a few stencils. You can see this is from uh, the Crafters Workshop. A little bit, um, a little bit of gold paint here again with another stencil. And then I just sketched right on top of all that paint. And I'll post some photos online too so you can see those. Um, added a sentiment and my date that I finished it, and that was it. So hopefully you can see that whole thing there with no problem. And um, that's it. Fun stuff. Great way to uh, use gesso as a resist. So uh, feel free to share your projects on our Facebook page. Shoot me an email if you have any questions. And thanks so much for joining Eclectic Papery. Feed your creativity. Take care.